Now, the Greek pianist Panos Karan is used to playing to tens of thousands of people in music halls and stadiums all over the world, but for his latest project, Panos swapped his usual lifestyle for a unique experience. He played his classical music to isolated Amazonian communities. Many of them had never even heard the piano played before, and Panos, um, not in the Amazon at the moment, here with me, very clearly in the studio, so Panos, um, why on earth did you want to do this? What gave you the idea? What's the point of it? Well, the idea for this project came from a desire to share the empowering effects of classical music with new audiences. I felt I belonged to a generation of musicians that has reached an unprecedented level of virtuosity and refinement in musical expression uh, and have been, having been taught in specialist schools by specialist teachers and for the most part play, playing in specialist concert halls for specialist audiences. Well, you're using all these words like <laughs> refinement and classical music. It sounds like you're kind of imposing a bit of kind of cultural chauvinism there, bringing Western classical music to the people of the Amazon? Not at all. I, I, I would like to believe that uh, I, I, I believe strongly in classical music and in its, in its power to change the world and make the world a better place. But the, the choice really stayed with the communities. That, uh, all right, let's listen to uh, what you did there. There. I saw that child there um, give a bit of a smile. These uh, people, though, look a little bit bemused. What kind of reception overall did you get? The reception was very warm. It was tremendous, actually. But the key before we got the response was actually to be allowed in. The locals are uh, very curious to any outsider, but they're also a little bit suspicious. In the middle of all the political and petroleum interests and missionaries and even tourists with large cameras, um, they, I think they want to be left alone, so the, the final word uh, had to come from them. It didn't matter if we traveled thousands of miles and we're going through difficulties and hardships to be there. Uh, the uh, final decision, if they wanted to hear this music, had to come from them. And um, I mean, apart from just being a fun thing to do and a bit of an adventure for you and clearly very, very beautiful surroundings you were working in there, um, do you think there was any wider purpose to what you were doing? Absolutely. The, at the same time that the idea to take this journey uh, occurred to me, the, the, um, the charity Keys of Change was established with the belief that uh, playing music doesn't only make the world a better place, but uh, it's one of the simplest and strongest ways to build bridges for peace and to make a positive social change. But, I mean, we hear this phrase, don't we, you know, music makes the world a better place, and music can change the world and so on, and they sound very nice. And mm -hmm. with all respect, though, what does it actually mean? How can it change the world? Does it have any impact on the lives of these people in the Amazon? Well, it might sound cliche, but actually the uh, most rewarding part of the trip was working with the children. And after each improvised recital, which could have been on the banks of the river or on the uh, schoolyard of, of the community, or even in someone's house, uh, several children would come around and would try the piano. And in the little time that we had, I would try to show them a, a, a simple melody, one, two, three notes at a time. And, and they all mucked in, did they, and enjoyed it? And Yes, very oh, much. <laughs> good. Well, I'm not going to give you a hard time anymore. Um, clearly, you played beautifully, and uh, they looked like they did enjoy it. Thanks very much indeed. That's all we have time for on GMT from me, Zainab Badawi. Goodbye.